hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be an advice video and it's basically going to be about finding happiness and you know my advice to you if you feel like you just haven't been happy in a while and you know why i think it could be so could be this so i'm just going to go straight into a, um, an example story well, i came up with this example one time i was trying to explain this on snapchat so it was just off head so imagine there's this woman and the night before she had used her car and she had went grocery shopping and the next day she needed to go to work so she got and she got her keys she got into the car and she put her keys in the car and she turned it right as she always does to start the car but the car didn't start so she's just there thinking okay what's going on so she turns it right again it's still not starting she keeps turning it right, turning it right, turning it, and the car is not starting, and she needs to get to work. So, and if she's late to work without a proper reason, like she's she's late to work, you know, they don't take that lightly because she's a very important person in her job, and they just don't take it lightly. They don't care. You just can't be late. So she's continuously turning this key right, and it's not opening. So she realizes, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm just either gonna have to stay at home or just get on the train or something. So she ends up being like 30 minutes late she jumps on the train or she jumps on a bus but she still ends up being 30 minutes late so she gets home that night and she's just wondering like well, why did my car not start but she just brushes it off and is like oh maybe it just happened like whatever it's gonna start again so the next day now she goes into the car this time she's got her children in the car because she needs to drop them to school and so she goes into the car as normal and she puts all the children in the back and um she puts the key in the car the children are strapped in at the back and then she puts the key in the car and then she turns it right again and it's not starting so now she's thinking whoa what's going on because she needs to get her children to school and if she doesn't she gets like a 60 pound fine um if she drops them to school late so she's trying or she's just thinking what is going on she just doesn't know what to do she keeps um just turning the car and um, turning the key right and it's not working but she normally always turns it right and it's still not working so she gets all those kids at the car she's like you know what guys we're not going to school today she keeps them in and she stays in as well because she was going to drop them to school and go work so she's just thinking why is this car not starting like she's so confused next day is a saturday so she's at home she's off she don't work on a saturday obviously the kids don't go to school on a saturday so she gets this phone call and it's the hospital saying that her mum is in hospital and she need like something terribly bad is, something terribly bad has happened to her and she needs to come right away she gets into the car now and now she's just praying like please god let this car work because i need to go see my mum she's in hospital da, 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 da. so she's praying 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 so she's praying before she actually before she actually puts the key into the car into the where she puts the key she puts the key in there she's still praying she turns it right and it doesn't work so now she's angry she's crying she's thinking what is going on with this car you know i don't even know what to do whatever whatever but she, she goes back in and she calls the hospital and she's just like so just let's just imagine that at this point she can't take no bus no um train no bicycle this is her only transport to go in her car so she, now she doesn't know what to do and she knows that her mom needs her so she goes inside now she's just crying and she's thinking what am i gonna do what am i gonna do i need to go see my mom so then she thinks wait so she's think so she goes she leaves the house goes back to she's walking towards the car and she's like wait why didn't i so she goes into the car she puts the key into the um puts the key into the into the where she puts the key and then she turns it left and the car starts the end of the story example now i'm gonna explain to you why this has anything to do with finding happiness so basically in life something bad might just happen to you out of the blue and that's normally what happens something bad just happens and it is what it is this bad thing may last a long time it may last a short it may last a short bit of time her bad thing was that her car didn't start and it was for no reason she didn't know why it wasn't starting that's like when bad things happen to you in life majority of the time it just happens and you don't even know why but then they're gonna say everything happens for a reason so what i believe is that if you're in a bad situation or something bad is going on it's for a reason so 
there's no use being so upset that you're in this bad situation and keep doing the same thing to try and solve the problem because you need to understand okay um, I'm going through a bad time in life and I'm trying to solve it and I'm keep, I keep doing the same thing all the time but it's still not like I'm still in this situation nothing's getting better why don't you just sit there and think to yourself why don't I try to change the solution why don't I try to change what I'm doing which I think is going to help me solve the problem so she kept on so what the woman was doing was she kept on turning the car um she kept on turning the key right thinking it was going to solve the problem but she kept on doing it doing it it should have clicked in her mind okay as it did in the end it should have clicked in her mind wait why don't i just turn it left and then see what happens and she tried she changed the solution and she tried it and it worked so it's like in life god is and all these signs god was showing her okay you know you need to turn, maybe, you know, the left, the right ain't working no more. It's like, in life, obviously, you know, you can only turn the key one way, but let's just pretend you could turn the key either left or right. So, it's showing you that in life, you might need to, you know, change what you're doing to um, to solve your problem. Because it's no use doing the same thing. God kept on showing her all these signs to say, you know what, the right ain't working no more, you need to change to the left. So, because she initially always had to turn it right to work, but now the right isn't working. So, all these signs, and I believe that the signs are going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Just for you to understand, change what you're doing to help you, to help you, to help your situation. Change what you're doing to help you be happy again. Change what you're doing. So, it's like, I hope I'm explaining this properly. I'll give you another, another example afterwards. So, it's just like, God's going to keep giving you signs. And I feel like these signs are just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse until you find, if, until it finally clicks in your mind, change what you're doing. So, the first thing wasn't that deep. It was just that she had to go work or whatever. And she's not, like, if she's late, they're going to shout at her. Second thing, she had to go drop her kids to school. And if she didn't do that on time, she would have got a £60 fight. So, that's a little bit worse. Third thing, had somebody's life involved. And, you know, if she if she didn't try to change what she was doing... So change and turn it, turn the key left. Then that's someone's life involved. That's a bit of a bigger situation. That's a big, of a bit of a bigger sign that God trying to tell her you need to change what you're doing. So it's basically that. So God is just gonna keep showing you signs. So in life, if you feel like you're not happy, you need to try and figure out. Okay, you need to sit yourself down and be like, okay, this is what's happening. What am I trying to do each time to solve this to make me happy again? And maybe try to change it. Because if if you're unhappy and you keep doing the same thing to try and change, so if you try to keep changing the same thing and realizing it's still not working, why don't you try something else? Don't keep doing the same thing. And God's only just going to keep showing you so many signs until he says, you know what, when you ain't listening, man, I ain't trying to help you. No, no, God's always going to help you. It's just to a certain extent, God is just going to keep having to show you signs and these signs are just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until you actually realize, you know what, yeah. I need to change what I'm doing because I need to I need to be happy and majority of the time my people are still unhappy is because they know what they need to do to make themselves happy again but they're just afraid of doing it so let's say like the girl who um who her boyfriend keeps cheating she knows she has to leave him but she doesn't want to because she still loves him but it's, it comes to the same point as when I say you need to value your happiness more than you value someone else's happiness so I hope you guys understand what I mean so it's just like if you feel like you're unhappy and you keep doing something, the same things to try and change your unhappiness to make you happy again and you feel like it's not working, you know what, maybe change what you're doing. If you feel like you're doing the same thing, yeah, change what you're doing and then you might find happiness in that, to be honest. And just understand that everything happens for a reason. And yeah, it's really hot up here, so sorry if I'm... And my throat is very dry, so sorry if I'm speaking a little bit. Ugh. But I just hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm going to do another video on happiness and stuff because I feel like I haven't covered everything in this and I'm really, really hot. I can't really speak. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.